Hello friends, welcome to my channel. This is Charan. Let's continue the MS Excel VBA course tutorial series. Now in this video tutorial, I will explain how to show and hide an Excel worksheets using a VBA code with the ActiveX checkbox control. So let's start the tutorial. Now let's check the final output. If I answer sheet 3C, it's invisible. Hide. If I select sheet 2, it's hidden. Sheet 1, it's hide. If I select again, it's visible. If you are a first time visitor to my channel, please subscribe to get the latest updates. For this video tutorial, I'm creating a new blank workbook. And here we got the book 1 Excel. Now, right now, we got only sheet 1. Let's add few more excel sheets for this example i have taken only sheet 4 now here uh, before adding uh, go to developer uh, before adding the controls here let's make some changes the cells color the background color of the sheet 4 i'm changing to white color and so after that what i'll do is go to developer again in the developer notice in the controls there is an insert controls option click that one in this insert controls we got two types of controls form controls and activex controls but i'm using activex controls select this checkbox i'm placing in sheet 4 now control c and control v i'm adding second checkbox control control v the third checkbox control now select the checkbox control, right click the mouse, go to properties. Now I am changing the caption to sheet 1, sheet 1 which is our excel sheet name and for this checkbox one. Second one is the sheet 2, sheet 2 and the third one, third one is the sheet 3. Let's close these properties. After that, now after that, let's write the code. Double click the sheet three. Uh, click uh, checkbox three. Here we got the checkbox three underscore cookie event. Now here the code is sheets. I want to show visible or hide, unhide, hide the Excel sheets using a checkbox. So I'm adding the code in the checkbox 3 sheets property here the sheets property takes the object as an index so index is 1 is a first excel sheet 2 is a sheet 2 3 is a sheet 4 and also we can add the name also sheet 1 use the double quotes because we are using the string string we have always put in the double quotes between the double quotes here for this example i'm adding the sheet one dot visible dot visible is equals to checkbox three dot value the value now after that checkbox two the two k one instead of writing the same thing just copy this one and paste here. Just we need to change the uh, name of the sheet, and this is a sheet two dot value. After that, the checkbox one. Uh, now this time here, instead of writing the uh, sheet name, I'm adding the index value. Uh, you can add the index value or the sheet name also. But when you're using sheet name, you need to keep between the double quotes sheet one checkbox one that value that's it now switch over to our uh, book one now it's time to check the uh, final results final output make sure when you are selecting the checkbox controls it's not in the design mode unselect that one it's unselected now let's check the final output when i click sheet one sheet one is visible now everything is visible now when i unclick see here sheet one is invisible sheet two is invisible if i un select again sheet two is visible uh, 
Shitri is again back. Shitri is. Uh, oh, we need to change here. Yeah? Something wrong here. Yeah? Uh, this here, yeah, it's not sheet one. It's sheet three. Again, switch over to our coding part. Make sure the design mode and select that one. Now let's check the final output. If I unselect sheet three, see, it's invisible. Hide. If I select sheet two, it's hidden. Sheet one, it's hide. If I select again, it's visible. That's it. In this video tutorial, I have showed how to hide and show the actual sheets dynamically using a checkbox controls with the VBA code. Thanks for watching this video tutorial. Please subscribe, share and leave your valuable comment. We will catch you in my next video tutorial.